Hi, friends. This is Amanda. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Oakland County, Michigan. I'm an A7 size girl in an A2 size world. Today I'm going to do a Technique Tuesday. It's going to be a quick. So all we're going to stamp is this color and contour um, a stamp that I really like. It's an abstract flower. I really like it. Hint, it will, not be, uh, it will not be around for very long, so if you like this one and don't have it, you need to grab it. We saw the new catalog, and there is a lot going away. A lot going away. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up in Versa Fine Clair, and I'm going to stamp this maybe in the middle at the top on a piece of copy paper. Just copy paper. Just going to stamp it down wait for a really nice impression, lift it up, and I have one stamped element down, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my piece of Blackberry Bliss, and I'm going to copy it in my laser printer, so this is toner printer, and I'm gonna copy it on the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to put this in my copier, Paste down my printer, it's actually a copy or two. So I'm gonna copy this, but instead of it coming out on white or on printer paper, I'm gonna have it come out on Blackberry Bliss um, cardstock. And I'm just gonna run that through my special loading one. You know, my, um, my feeder that's not, that doesn't go through and up, it just runs straight. I'll be right back with that. Now, as you can see, I have black toner copied, and this is the image that it copied on a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Now I can't stamp it directly onto Blackberry Bliss. I have to use my laser printer to put toner down because we're going to foil this in our mink machine or in a laminator. So let me grab out my foil. I should have done that already. Sorry about that, friends. And this has to be toner reactive foil. So you wanna make sure it does say toner reactive foil on it. And this says heat activated foil, ultraviolet. I believe this is Oh no, this says for a uh, foil quilt. So that's not it. Let me see. This one is going to say, yep, reactive foil. And you want it to say reactive foil made for the mink machine or a toner. It just has to say reactive foil. And I really don't want this one. Let's get a gold one. How about this rose gold? That would be pretty, I think, on the, on the Blackberry Bliss paper. Maybe some silver. Let's look. Let's see what we have. We have regular gold. Would that look better? Oh yeah, that's really pretty. But could we do silver? Oh, here's some other ones. Oh, look at this green. What else do I have? I have this beautiful rainbow. What do you think about that? That might look really pretty. I guess it really depends on what sentiment you want to use with this. I have this light mint, which might look pretty cool. I think I'm going to do the rainbow. I really like this rainbow and this is something you couldn't get with any other way. I do have some other foils that are sparkly and that kind of stuff, but we'll do this one because I really like this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to open our foil, maybe. This is crazy not opening. <laughs> going to open our foil and cut a piece that we need. Let's get this open, all right. We don't need the whole roll, and that's why deco foil is a little bit better for this, but that's okay. There's a sheet, a, there's a piece right here that needs to be taken off. All right. And I will cut this to size and I'll grab my mink. Okay, I cut my 
reactive ink, reactive foil to the size that I need so it will cover the image. And I'm actually going to cut out the image. It doesn't need to go all go through there. I heated up my laminator. I have a mink and a laminator and they work, they work both the same. So if I were you, I'd get the laminator. It is cheaper. If you want to do this, if you don't have, if you want to do this technique and you don't have a laminator and a foil yet, remember you want reactive foil. If you don't have a laser printer, you can go to the UPS store um, and have them copy it, you know, make several copies, do something fun. Um, you can always put uh, sentiments on this and, and copy it all at once. Okay, so I am on hot, I'm in on, just have to wait for the ready light. And this is a Staples brand. It is. It gets very hot. Um, some of them actually have different mills and you want the highest mill that you can get when you're turning it on. Um, like I said, a mink is cheaper or is more expensive than your laminator, so I'd go ahead and grab the mink. We'll just wait for this on to turn on this ready to turn on and we'll um, feed it through. Again, we have our piece of cardstock that has the toner foil on it. Our rainbow foil that is um, toner side down. So it's silver side down, pretty side up. And then I'm putting that in a piece of vellum or you can always do a copy, uh, a, a copier piece of copy machine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too well today. A piece of copy paper cut in half or um, they do also give you in with the bank. They also give you um, a thin shim to go through with it to go through it. But we'll wait until this ready starts up oh, is ready. We'll wait till it's ready. Okay, my light turned green, saying that it was hot enough. So I'm going to put my fold side through. Again, let's check the sandwich. We have our piece of cardstock with our toner image facing up, our pretty side of the foil facing up, and it is in a vellum sandwich. I'm gonna place that through, and I'm gonna run it through twice because it is cardstock, so it's gonna need to heat up. I might run it through three times. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Reactive foil react activates with um, toner. Uh, paste, I'll show you the paste. And heat and pressure. Let me get the paste for you as soon as I put this through one more time. Yes, my desk is a mess. I'm making a uh, project right now for a next card for you guys, but, ooh, that's hot. But I wanted to get this technique in because it's Tuesday. Okay, and it's called Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. And I don't know if mine's still good. I haven't used it in such a while. Oh, it is still good. Oh, great. Okay, you could do this with a stencil. Lots of things to do with that. We'll have to do that on another, on another day, but I'm going to run this through one more time. It is super hot. But that's what we need to make it really hot. Um, I'm so glad this works. We'll have to do this another time. Here we go. All you have to do is get the right sandwich and you can always go to um, pro provide your own paper, of course, because you want a nice piece of cardstock when you go to the UPS store or Staples or wherever you go. Uh, I think it's like five or 10 cents to make a black and white copy. So no big deal. So fill your whole sheet with what you want. Go make a copy and then your, your effort isn't wasted. All right, so we're going to take this off. And you can already see that it worked well. Can you see that? Let's see. You can already see it grabbed it. I'm gonna let it cool to touch and then we'll peel it off. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? No overfoiling. 
did a great. Now you want to save this because you can um, you can use the edges here. And we got a really great impression. Now you can see it when you're facing it. You can see it. I, you can see it on black. I've done this on black too and black works really well. Let's turn this off. Uh, I think that um, toner, that um, laminator was $20. And of course you can hot laminate. So it works really well. All right, this looks so great. Let's make a quick card with it. We'll just do a um, thank you card. And let's, uh, let's do basic white. Let's do a basic white. Let's cut this down to an A2 size. And we'll cut this down. This is our center, so we need to go two and a half inches on each side. We'll just cut this here. Just want to make sure these are even and they're not. Oops, that's not quite even either. There we go. That's in the middle though, and that's all that really matters. Isn't that awesome? All right, piece of white cardstock. We're gonna cut it five and a half. Well, actually, let's do four and a four and a quarter. I like top folding note cards, and we'll score it at five and a half. There we go. Piece of ribbon. We have herringbone ribbon that's white. Oh, that herringbone might look really pretty with it. Let's check it out. This also will be going away, so we need to use it up. This is a really pretty ribbon. Oh, almost ran over some watercolor paper. That's for the next project we're doing. Lots of the, um, we're gonna cut this at four by five and a quarter. Oh, that's not gonna work. Five and a quarter by four. There we go, now we can do this. And we'll put our ribbon here. Like that, cut this down like that, and then we'll put this around. There we go. We'll cheat a little bit. Here we are, put this around here, kind of in the middle. Add adhesive. So we're putting white on white. This right here it needs a sentiment, but I think I'll wait for one until I actually need it. Now I really feel foolish. Should have done this in the first place. Let's make this center. It's a nice thick ribbon, so 
wide ribbon, I guess I should say. So it takes a little bit of extra lovin's. I had a really pretty bow. Did you see it? I saw it, right? You saw it? All right. Maybe it just wants to be tied in a knot. What do you think? Now the technique is really what I'm worried about. Not the silly bow. Thought we could make a quick and easy card that way. Put a thanks or something right here. I think I'm gonna do away with this. I bought these scissors specifically for um, specifically for fabric, and I haven't used anything but fabric on them, and they're still, look at this, fraying. You would think that, I mean, I was good to them, right? Maybe I just need to buy a better pair of scissors. All right. I can fuss with this all day. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this technique, reactive foil. Um, it would be really pretty on a sympathy card with just one color. Be really pretty with balloons. That would be awesome. A full set of balloons. And, um, you know, a foiled balloons would be fun. Um, you can always emboss this with embossing powder, but you're not gonna get something like this. You can just get regular gold, silver, white, but you're not gonna get a rainbow like this unless you use reactive foil. And they have some really pretty reactive foil out there. All right, friends, I'm really glad you stayed with me today. Thanks so much for stopping on by. I know today was a little bit weird, I apologize, and my desk is even worse than it normally is, but um, I wanted to get this out to you because I wanted to celebrate Technique Tuesday. All right, thanks so much, friends. Bye-bye.